Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I thought I would share with you a recipe for turkey kale lentil soup. These are the ingredients that you'll need to make this soup. Of course, I start all of my soups out with onion, celery, and carrots. In a lot of my soups, especially my green pea and lentil type soups, I like to use shredded carrots. They tend to kind of go into the soup nicely, and I just like the texture of them. So. Um, shredded carrots is what I'm using today. If you have diced carrots or baby carrots that you want to chop up, that works too. So, onion, celery, and carrots. You'll need regular lentils. Here you can see I have two different colors of lentils in my, in my bin of lentils. We love lentils around here. Um, but either a variety of just basic, regular uh, lentils will do. We'll need, f I, I'm going to use four cups of these today. So I think that might be the equivalent of two uh, one-pound bags. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's about that. This recipe, you can kind of just add water and ingredients to the size you want. I like to make a big pot of soup, so today I'm using four cups of lentils. We'll need some olive oil to saute our vegetables. We'll need some Italian seasonings, black pepper, garlic powder, and salt. I also like to add a can of petite diced tomatoes. This is a 14.5 ounce can. You can also get the variety that is seasoned already, like Italian seasoned diced tomatoes. That also adds a lot to this soup. But today, this is what I have. Now let's see, we'll need some kale because this is turkey kale lentil soup. So you'll need a bunch of kale. We'll go ahead and wash this and rip this up into small pieces right at the end of making this soup. I don't like to overcook my kale. I like to add it to the soup about an hour before I'm ready to serve it, just even sometimes a little bit less, just long enough to cook it through and get it to incorporate into the soup. So one bunch of kale, and you'll need one pound of ground turkey. We're gonna go ahead and brown this up off to the side a little bit later and add this to the soup. And then you'll need some broth. You can use vegetable broth or chicken broth. I'm gonna use chicken today because I have a lot of that and I only have one box of vegetable broth left. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Um, for now, I'm gonna use chicken bone broth and then you'll need water to bring the level up um, to the amount of soup that you want. So those are the ingredients and I'm gonna go ahead now and clear my area here and start by chopping up my onion and celery and getting it sauteing in the soup pan. Okay, so I've chopped up my two onions. They were medium sized onions, so I went ahead and used two of those. Sometimes if I have one really big onion, I'll just use one large onion and just chop them up into little pieces like so. It doesn't have to be super fine or super big or anything like that. Just a nice basic medium size piece of onion, chop those up, and then add them to your pan. Here, I'm gonna add them to my pan. I've got a little oil in there, you can kind of see it, about two tablespoons or so. I just like to put a little oil in the bottom of my pan and turn it on, um, turn the burner on, probably like medium high, and get those sauteing. And while these are sauteing, I'll keep my eye on them, but I'll also go ahead now and chop up my celery. I've got my celery all chopped up. You can hear the onion sauteing away. Here they are. I'm gonna keep those stirring so they don't overcook. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add to that my celery. And I'm gonna continue sauteing both of the celery and the onion until they're a little bit soft, that they start to be a little bit soft and translucent. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these saute away and I'll come back and show you the next step. Now that I've got my celery and onion sauteing a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add to that my carrots. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the entire bag here. And that was a 10 ounce bag, um, if you were wondering. But again, like I said, you can use any carrots that you have. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get these sauteing as well. And if this starts to seem like it's sticking to the bottom or needs a little bit more um, to help it saute, sometimes I will splash in a little bit of the broth. Um, but first I'm gonna go ahead and do this for a bit and we'll see if it needs a little bit of broth. So you can see that this is coming along nicely. You can start to see that it's getting a little softer and getting a little bit, the onions are definitely translucent. I'm gonna give this a little splash of broth just kind of help it along. I'm going to just do this for another few minutes, like maybe five more minutes, making sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then I'll go ahead and add the rest of the broth. And then I'll show you the next step. We'll be cleaning and rinsing the lentils 
and adding that as well as some water, tomatoes, and the seasonings. Okay, so my celery, carrots, and onions have been cooking away. I'm going to go ahead now and add the broth. This is a 32 ounce uh, canister of broth. I'm using the uh, bone broth, the chicken bone broth from Costco. You can use any chicken broth that you have. If you'd like to add two of these containers, that's also fine. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with one today and add water and maybe later on I'll add a little bit of chicken bouillon if I feel like the flavor needs it. But I'm going to first go ahead and just cook the soup and see what flavor all the vegetables and spices add to the lentils. So um, now we've got this going on, I'm going to bring this up to a low simmer. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this here. By the way, at this point of soup making, this is how nearly all of my soups start. The house smells really wonderful because of all those vegetables cooking up. It's just a wonderful smell. So now for the lentils, like I said, I'll be adding four cups of lentils. And what I do with them first, I'm only going to add them one cup at a time. I'm going to take out a cup of these and I'm going to put them in my strainer basket. I'm going to sort through them really carefully as, as I look through the one cup at a time and make sure that there are no stones or little pieces of uh, whatever that came off the field when they were harvesting the lentils. So I always like to sort my lentils first, then I rinse it, and then I add it to the soup. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the first cup of that done and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here is my first cup of lentils and again, I just kind of sift through them Looking carefully, I have found stones, little tiny pebbles in the past. So I like to be really careful to go through these and sort them. That's always what it says on the bag of lentils in the instructions to sort them and rinse them. And that's what that means is just kind of looking through them for any strange piece of uh, matter that does not belong in these lentils. And like I said, I found little pebbles before and you certainly wouldn't want pebbles in your soup. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really carefully. Look through these, get them sorted. Then I'm going to rinse them and add them to my soup. And I'm going to do that four times because like I said, I'm adding four cups of lentils today. So I'll be back when I'm adding my first cup of lentils to our soup. Okay, so my first cup of lentils is rinsed and sorted. And I'm going to go ahead and add my first cup to the soup here. Of course, we're definitely going to add more water here as we add these lentils. And we'll need to bring that soup level up quite a bit more. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the other three cups of lentils sorted and added to the soup. And then I'll come back to show you the next step. And now I am adding my last cup of lentils. Go ahead and get those incorporated into this. And then definitely it's time to add some water. You can see all the water or broth in there has already been soaking up. So I'm going to go ahead and get some water and I'll be right back to show you how much I add. Okay, so I'm going to start with four cups of water here. See, that helps it out quite a bit, but we'll still definitely need more. We may add between uh, eight and 12 cups of water. So I'm going to go ahead and get another four cups in here. And here I'm adding another four cups of water. And I'm going to go ahead and add some spices and my tomatoes and things like that right now. And then we'll see if it needs any more water beyond that. Um, you really want to make sure you have enough water in there so that the lentils don't suck up all the water and then start uh, kind of cooking to the bottom of the pot. It's also another reason you really want to stir this soup, you know, fairly regularly. You don't want to just leave it on a burner. You want it simmering, a low simmer. So I'm going to bring this back up to a low simmer. And um, you'll want to stir that regularly again so that the lentils don't stick to the bottom as they begin to cook. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Get those in there. I love the way tomatoes add um, nice flavor to the broth, so I always like to add a can of tomatoes to my soup. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some seasonings. I'm adding a rounded tablespoon of Italian seasonings. I'm adding a teaspoon of salt to get started. And I always season my soups at the beginning and then also again in the middle as I give it a taste. And then at the end when I taste the broth and see if it needs anything else. So next I'm going to go ahead and add pepper. I'll go ahead and add a half teaspoon of pepper. Usually I just do this by eyeing it, but today I thought I would um, use some measuring spoons. However, I will go ahead and eye it with the garlic powder. I don't like to add a lot at the beginning. I add it a little bit more towards the end. 
So I'm just going to do a little sprinkle there of my garlic powder. Then I'm going to go ahead and get this all stirred in and bring this back to a simmer. Then I'm going to put a lid on it and let that simmer away. I'll be stirring it regularly. I'll come back and show you midway through what this is looking like and how it's cooking up. And when it comes to a simmer, I'm going to put a lid on the top, kind of tip to the side so it leaves it open a bit to let the steam out and to let it continue cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook away, come back to a simmer, and I'll come back in a little while and show you how it's coming along. Okay, so my soup has been cooking for a little over an hour and it's starting to come along really nicely. The vegetables are softening up, the lentils are cooking. I did add about another three cups of water just to keep the level of water good for this soup here. And so I think now I'm gonna add a little bit more of my spices. One spice that I forgot to add earlier that I remembered that I love in lentil soup is a little bit of ground cumin. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that now. I'm just gonna put a little um, shake in here, probably around like, oh, not quite half a teaspoon. Just eye it, you can add a little bit more or less, uh, whatever you prefer. Of course, you can also leave out cumin if you don't like that taste. I'm gonna add a, just a dash more of the Italian seasoning, a dash more of the garlic powder, just a little bit there, a little bit more pepper, and a few little shakes of salt there, not very much. Then also, because I added so much water rather than broth, I'm going to go ahead and add in a heaping teaspoon of this uh, chicken granulated bouillon, just about this much here. I'm just gonna sprinkle that in. And later, I'll taste it one more time. I may add in another teaspoon if I feel like it needs it. It does have a lot of flavor already, but I really like it to be nice and flavorful, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that today. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this continue simmering. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the turkey. So I've got my ground turkey and a pan here. I'm gonna give this pan a spray and get this browned and cooked through. And I'll be back to show you how I've done that as well as we'll go ahead and then add that into the soup. Also while the turkey is cooking away over here in the pan, um, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my kale. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate this out, wash it up really good, and then I like to tear my pieces about that big, maybe a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. Just, I just kind of tear it off the stem. I don't like any of the hard stems in this particular soup. So I'm gonna take all the soft leaves off of the center stem and I'll rip them in, up into bite-sized pieces after I give this a good um, clean. So I'll be back to show you how the turkey's coming along as well as pretty soon we'll be ready to add our kale as well. So I'm gonna get that all cleaned and ripped up. Okay, so the soup is up to a nice simmer here. You can see it's looking and smelling wonderful. Just a note, this is basically right here. How it is right here is just what my classic lentil soup would be like. And you could make this a vegetarian lentil soup very easily by making sure that your broth is a vegetable broth and you could add in any other vegetables that you wanted for flavor, like you could add in the kale and just omit the turkey. Um, or you can just have it like this right here. This is just like a nice classic lentil soup. But tonight we are having it as a turkey kale lentil soup. I think this will be really delicious. So I've cooked up our turkey and I'll go ahead and add that to the pot here right now. Okay. Just add that in. I'll get the rest in there in a minute. But we'll just go ahead and stir that turkey in so there's a little bit of turkey meat throughout this. I think we'll add a little bit to the flavor and texture. And then also, I've got my plate of kale here all chopped up and ready to go. So now I'm gonna add the kale just one handful at a time so that I can work that down into the soup and not overwhelm my soup pot here. So as I get that stirred down in, I'll add another scoop, just like so. And of course, if you've ever cooked kale, you know that it works down very, very quickly. It wilts into the soup rather nicely and quickly. See how nice the green looks in there too. I love the color that kale adds to different soups. We'll go ahead and add the rest now. There we go. And we'll just work that down in. And I'm gonna go ahead now, I might add, hmm, it's feeling a little thicker again. Lentils have a way, again, of just soaking up that water. I might add in just a little bit more water, just a cup and a half here, just to make sure we're nice and brothy. 
and so that way it doesn't just cook down into just only lentils. So there's that. So I'll probably let this simmer away for another 45 minutes or so, make sure that the kale is all the way cooked through and that the turkey has a chance to kind of blend into the soup flavors. I'll come back, we'll flavor it one more time towards the end, a little bit more um, bouillon possibly, and maybe a little more cumin and garlic and things like that, right at the end when I do my last sampling of this delicious looking soup. Very excited to have this for dinner. So that is our soup. It should be ready in about 45 minutes. So I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so my soup is thoroughly cooked through. I'm lowering the temperature here. It's gotten a little bit bubbly and I tasted the broth. I'd like to add just a little bit more seasoning to it. I'm gonna add another teaspoon of the chicken bouillon. Just a dash more of the cumin. The cumin adds a really nice flavor. Another tiny dash of Italian seasoning. A few more dashes of salt and pepper. And a little bit of garlic powder. If you have fresh garlic, you can also add fresh garlic. So there we go, that is all we need. Absolutely delicious soup. You can see all those lentils in there, the turkey, the kale, all of our carrots and onions, and celery and tomatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir the rest of the seasoning in here, give it a couple more minutes to incorporate, and then I'll go ahead and serve up a nice bowl of this delicious turkey kale lentil soup. Here's my turkey kale lentil soup all served up. I've served it along with a piece of buttered sourdough bread. Tonight I'm using this uh, Seattle sourdough bread. We love this, it comes from the store. The nice thing about this is it'll keep for a few days, whereas sometimes the fresh sourdough that we buy at the bakery, um, it gets dry pretty quickly. So sometimes I choose this sliced version. It's really delicious. And again, I love that it lasts a couple of days. It's really good. I love sourdough bread with these rich soups, the bean and the pea and the lentil soups. I love sourdough bread with. So that is what our soup looks like tonight. I'm so excited to give this a try. A little bit of everything in there. Look at that, the turkey and the kale and the lentils. So delicious. I'm going to go ahead now and give this a try. And that is absolutely delicious. I know we're going to enjoy this for dinner for the next two nights because around here when we make soup, it is two nights of soup for dinner. The next night sometimes I'll make a different kind of sandwich to go with it or something like that. We also have it alongside of our lunch. We love soup around here, and this one is no exception. It's absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this turkey kale lentil soup, and I hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.